crotch setting, place the crotch tips six inches out from, from the margin of the shoe and two inches up to the mark. The crotch should be adjusted in order to be positioned one inch below the interior field of the pillow. The hand brace is adjusted so, so the athlete's elbows are bent 30 degrees. Crutch walking, tripod. At least the athlete stands on one foot with the effective foot completely elevated out in front or partially bearing weight bearing. Place the crutch tips 12 to 15 inches ahead of the feet. Athlete leans forward and straightens the, and straightens the elbows, pulls the upper cross piece barely to the side of the chest and swings or steps between the stationary crouch. Okay, avoid placing weight on the heel. After moving through the after moving through the athlete recovers the crutch and again places the tip in the forward position. Crutch walking, four point partial weight bearing. Stand on both feet. One crutch is moving forward and the opposite foot steps forward. The crutch is moved to, to just in front of the foot on the same side. The opposite foot steps forward, followed by the clutch on the same foot, and so on. Crutch walking, stairs. Weight is placed on the hands and the athlete steps up with the unaffected foot, then with the affected foot. Then the athlete places weight on the unaffected foot and moves the crutches up to the stairs. Continue the process of the stairs. Crutches down. Place the crush tip six inches out from the margin of the shoe and two from the front. The crush should be adjusted in order to position one inch below the axilla. The hand brace is adjusted so the elbow is bent at 30 degrees. Crush walking tripod. The athlete stands on one foot with the affected foot completely elevated out in front or partially weight bearing. Place the crush tips 12 to 15 inches ahead of the feet. The athlete leans forward, straightens the elbows, and pulls the upper cross piece firmly across the side of the chest and swings or steps between the stationary crutch, avoid placing weight on the axilla. After moving through, the athlete recovers the crutch again and places the tip in front of the forward position. Crutch tip walking, four point. Partial weight bearing. Stand on both feet. One crutch is moved forward and the opposite foot steps forward. The crutch is moved to just in front of the foot on the same side. The opposite foot steps forward, followed by the crutch on the same side, and so on. Okay. Crutch walking stairs up. So up is going to be good foot, bad foot, crutches. So the athlete moves their feet close to the first stair. The weight is placed on the hands, and the athlete steps with the unaffected foot, then with the affected foot, and then places the weight on the unaffected foot and moves the crutches up to the stair. Continuing the process up the stairs. Right, crutch walking down. So it's going to be crutches, bad foot, good foot. The athlete moves their feet close to the first stair. The weight is placed in the unaffected foot. The athlete moves the crutches to the affected foot down the stair. The weight is shifted to the crutches and the unaffected foot to the next step. The process is continued down the stair. Okay.